हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वर्चुअल क्लास सेकेंड ऑफ चैप्टर इन्वायरमेंटल इश्यूज वी वर स्टडिंग दी हार्मफुल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ एयर पॉल्यूशन वी हैड स्टडी द फर्स्ट इफेक्ट दैट क्लोरोसिस ऑफ लीव्स एंड डिफॉलिएशन ऑफ लीव्स ऑफ प्लांट्स द सेकेंड वन हार्मफुल इफेक्ट ऑफ एयर पॉल्यूशन इज द ऑक्साइड्स कॉजिंग वेरियस डिजीजेस so here we can see is in human beings oxides of sulfur and nitrogen causes eye irritation nasal irritation chronic cough and bronchitis bronchitis is a lungs disease so these are the disease caused by air pollution the second one is acid rain acid rain is very important harmful effect we have to see in this picture here we can see the factories are running on coal and petroleum so when these fossil fuels coal and petroleum are one they gives they give sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides so when these sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxide react with water it turns into acid so here sulfur oxides turn into sulfuric acid and sulfurous acid h2so4 h2so3 and nitric acids turn in nitrogen oxides turn into nitric acid hno3 so these are the acids when these acids fall down with rain water in on the earth they increase the acidity of these water bodies and soil also so when the acidity of water bodies increase the aquatic animals die and when the acidity of soil increase the plants also do not grow well so these are the harmful effects of acidic rain the next one harmful effect of air pollution is greenhouse effect so here we can see in this picture greenhouse effect how this greenhouse effect is caused see when this sun is giving sunlight during the day this atmosphere allow the sunlight to come on the earth but what happens when the sunlight has to go back during the night from the earth atmosphere these greenhouse present on earth such as carbon dioxide they do not allow the sunlight to go back why this is so we have to remember when the sunlight comes on the earth it is having shorter wave length but when the sunlight go back their wavelength above length get increase so due to this increased wave length the greenhouse gases present in environment in atmosphere they do not allow the sunlight to go back so finally this sunlight is trapped on the earth only and this increase the earth's temperature so here this temperature in, increase in temperature is known as greenhouse effect and this is causing the rise in earth at earth's average temperature this is called global warming the next very important effect of air pollution is the photochemical smog destroys plant vegetation now what is smog smog we have to understand understand here it's smoke plus fog is called smog smog plus fog is smog here this og word is uh, og letters are coming from fog and sm coming from smoke so smoke plus fog is smog how this smog is formed so here the reason is given 
the ozone formed by a photochemical reaction the ozone formed by photochemical reaction of oxides of nitrogen and hydrocarbons at lower level of atmosphere is called photochemical smog this is formed because of the because of the formation of uh, ozone how this ozone is forming here we have to remember we are not talking about the ozone of ozone layer we are talking about the ozone which is forming in the lower level at lower height in the atmosphere where it should not be formed remember this point see here this as i told you the burning of fossil fuels is releasing out nitrogen nitrogen oxide see here the nitrogen oxide is formed because of burning of fossil fuels in the factories but when the ultraviolet rays comes from sunlight so this nitrogen oxide react uh, from this ultraviolet rays uh, sorry uh, the ultraviolet rays when comes on them because of the effect of these ultraviolet rays what they do they release out the free oxygen and when these free oxygen see here the free oxygen this free oxygen react with the oxygen molecule it forms o3 and this o3 is a ozone molecule so what happen when the factories uh, when the factories releasing out smoke it containing nitrogen oxide and when the ultraviolet rays are coming on nitrogen oxide they these nitrogen oxide are releasing out free oxygen this free oxygen we can see here when this free oxygen react with the oxygen of environment it turns into o3 and this ozone gas is working as a smoke so this smoke is a very harmful for the growth of plants it is destroying the leaves as we can see in this picture the leaves are coming in this condition because of the smoke 